guys and welcome back to Glee Junk. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a great day and in today's video we're going to be talking about security build hacks. But before we do begin to today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and of course turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into this one. The world of Minecraft can be harsh. One moment you're happily cooking a few pieces of bacon in your oven and then the next Damn! Where'd that creeper come from? Now you're back at your respawn point. You better know how to get back home from there. Building a door is a great way to keep this from happening. But that only works if you stay underground or in a very tightly constructed fort. And those options, while doable, make large construction projects and proper farming much more difficult. Expanding outward is the quicker choice, but risky. Here are a few clever Minecraft home security tips to protect your land. Build a moat. Moats were great ways to defend castles, and they're also great ways to defend your home in Minecraft. In fact, they're even better in real life, because moats work both as a barrier and a conveyor belt of death, yet are simple enough for any Minecraft newbie. In Minecraft, water always flows downwards from the point of origin. You can also pick up water with a bucket and place it anywhere, creating a new and infinite point of origin. This is the beginnings of your moat, which you then guide by digging into the ground or building a canal. A moat about three blocks wide is a good barrier and great Minecraft home security. But you can make your moat better by using the water's current to push trapped monsters towards an endpoint. Usually this will be a really deep pool, which ultimately drowns the monsters and the occasional pig and cow too. Be sure to leave a small outlet at the bottom of the pool. If you do this, the items monsters leave, when they die will filter out of the pool for you to pick up. But remember, moats won't help against every threat, particularly endermen or things that live in the water. You have a nasty habit of teleporting, and things that live in the water can breathe in water, so watch out for that. Create a trap door or drawbridge. A moat is a great thing to have, but it also creates a problem. It's a moat. You can't get over it, unless you want to swim through it, but that takes longer. You have two options. One is to build a tunnel, which can be a bit inconvenient, and the other is to just build a bridge. But a bridge is something monsters might use to cross into your territory, so you'll need to figure out a way to protect it. That's where trap doors come in. You can put traps over bridges to make a drow bridge. You can put lava under the trap floor to do the basic idea, is to use a redstone switch in conjunction with a redstone torch to provide power. That's hooked via redstone wire to one or more trap doors. The switch could be a button, a pressure plate, a trip wire, or any other valid switch component. Get creative. Use a piston trap. Trap doors are great against monsters, but they don't work well against people, which is why it's kind of a problem if you're playing on a Minecraft server. Piston traps are a better solution because you can use blocks that blend into the surroundings. They're also the trap of choice for people who don't like the aesthetics of trap doors. Like trap doors, pistons are connected to a switch via redstone. When the switch is activated, the pistons open, sending the poor monster or player plummeting to whatever fate you've devised for them. All the usual stuff works, but if you're targeting players, you'll probably want the trap to send players on a deadly fall or into lava. The kill should be quick so the player doesn't have a chance to escape. What's great about the trap is that it's connected to a piston door. This gives the illusion that the mechanism pressure plates are only meant to open the door. But after a brief delay, the floor opens well, and once that happens, there's no escaping. But that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this and much much more we'll see you guys on the next one until then take care bye guys